Uesi! Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is a normal Naui. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladned? Are you not a Donegad as well? It is true. But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. Then... how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness. The Malachor. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas... It is fatal in all cases. The symptoms of its victims start with severe headaches and nausea. Their blood becomes effectively darker and more viscous. The veins become visible. In the end, the victim weakens and dies. We have not, as of yet, found a treatment. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But, Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenland started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our Master Hunter, or the families of the Taken could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this Master Hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Good day. Are you the Master Hunter? Bear tear to mother, and I'd say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Dunaygad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Tenlans have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. 
Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegan, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often. And they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nests that I found. But still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenants. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. Good day. I've been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her, or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late, and the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly. In the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No. No, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The Mind Shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think has likely happened? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Mind Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. 
A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosynaic. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman. The one who's also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. I must leave now. Good day. My name is Desarde from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. But the girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether. And often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. It's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. Could you tell me about the missionaries? The Mind Shakers? They came here to take us to a marvelous village. They said it was a perfect place where all is shining in light and where there is no danger. Their words seem to have been to your liking. A place full of peace is a dream. Here we must fight to survive since the Tenlands have grown angry. And now their stories of light are difficult to imagine. It seems like a beautiful place though. But my brother fought with them. They gave trouble to a young girl, one of his friends. He told me that these mind shakers were liars. That they were hurting the more innocent young. I don't really know what to think. If they took them, could you tell them to give them back? There is no fair trade for our children. The story about the fight compels me to at least ask them some questions. I must be leaving.
I'm in need of your wisdom again. I hear you. The brother of the young fisherman told me that you do not get along. We have had arguments from time to time, but they were of no importance. This boy is too quick to anger. He does not have the calm of a good hunter of fish. And you didn't try to rid yourself of him? Of course not. None of our kind would do such a thing. I must be going. Tell me about the Tenmans, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Very well. I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest nearby. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. I must leave now. Given the presence of the tenons in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. I should come back later. It is dawn, the ideal moment. I must kill the dominant. <laughs> Tell us about the Tenlands. They are beasts that live near water, rivers or coasts. In all our memories, only if you approach their nests do they anger and attack. But lately... Yes, Kadasak told me they attacked the villagers. Could you point me in the direction of their nest? I know where to find one, but there are certainly more. My brother should not have left the village alone. For a while now, he does not share my fears for him. I must be leaving.
Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden, where they might discover peace. In this protected paradise, they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. Have you heard about the Tenlin attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks? On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlands is somehow linked to the demons on the Isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Danegar of this village wishes for you to depart. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. I must go. We're going to need to find some leverage if we want to force these missionaries to leave. Perhaps searching through their belongings will give us something we can use to put pressure on them. We are near water, in the area the fisherman's brother mentioned. A nest must be close to here. Kill the dominant one for the strong. <laughs> Hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. Yeah! <laughs> 
I must kill the dominant one before destroying the nest. is destroyed. The Master Hunter will be relieved to hear it, I'm sure. A basket full of berries and a trap full of fish. All of it scattered and half-eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left these behind. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. That cavern seems home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great Tenland the hunter spoke of. Three corpses, and one is older than the others. The two others are more recent. A man and a woman are missing couple right now. They were dragged by the hour of the life. to the village. Their families need to be informed.
I cannot believe that these missionaries use such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Now you understand why some of us fight against the Rinaixe. Their words are always sweet, but all they bring is death. How can these so-called religious men dare to abuse these young people? I thought that the word of the Enlightened was very clear on this subject. They do not see us as fellow humans, so they think they can do anything they want to us. One more thing. Yes? I fought against a great number of Tenlands. One that was quite spectacular. Great white beast. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others, attract them, and make them aggressive. A beast sent by the demons, no doubt. But. Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal detailing your vicious plan. I have only one piece of advice to give you leave and quickly, or the Mother Cardinal will learn every detail of your manipulations. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. But let it be known that you are abandoning all of these poor souls to damnation. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own soul, sister. People have died by your fault. Well, Onol Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but... I'm truly sorry your brother is dead. Andivustire. May the earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing. And they must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise and attend them across their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body. To give it up to the earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved, in a cavern near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh, no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of the Great Tenlin, not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I'm so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back to carry out the rite. You should not go alone. 
I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on all Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. The nests are destroyed, and with the death of the White Tenon, the attacks should cease. And we were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him. May the beasts answer your calling, Onol Manawi. You are a brave hunter. The village will at last find peace once again. I can see from your face that you were victorious. Indeed. I put the White Tenlin down, who was enraging his kind, and destroyed their nests. The attack should no longer trouble you. As for the missionaries, we were able to convince them to leave, although they were not willing to reveal their involvement in the attacks that caused you such harm. And so they were in some way responsible. I had my suspicions, but I could not see their reasons. They brought a particularly large beast here that attracted and enraged the others. This is what provoked the attacks and brought on our despair. These people have blood on their hands. In the end, we found the missing young ones. But alas, it was too late. Devoured by wild beasts. And divorced to your end. You did well on our Manawi. Now they shall be able to find the rest. Will you agree to accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you. This pain, it'll be the death of me. I can't control my body. It's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze. Consumed by a smoldering fire. The moment's growing near, isn't it? Am I about to surrender my ghost to the Reaper of Souls? You pop in just when you're needed, cousin, as always. Who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katisach, Constantine. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaikse. And I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. <laughs> 